been such a long time since I have posted a video. I want to say it's been two to three months. I'm thinking three. I can't remember exactly, but I just wanted to let you guys know I'm still around. I'm going to definitely get back to doing videos as often as I can. The past couple months were extremely crazy. A lot of you guys know that I am a full-time college student, so sometimes there just isn't time to film a video. It takes a, quite a bit of time to film it, to edit it, and then get it to upload, and I just haven't had the time lately. But I'm glad now that it's summer that I do have the time, and today I'm going to be doing a little update on my review of the Bedhead Rock and Roller Curl curling wand. So this is what it looks like. It's a bubble style curling wand. I will actually leave my old video for this linked down below, but it's actually one of the first videos I made here on my channel, which was almost two years ago. And so it was an extremely great quality and it has become really, really popular over time. And I realized that I wanted to create a new one that would give you more of an update on how I use it as well as why I like it now that I've really mastered this tool. So while I could keep rambling on and on, I just want to jump right into my little review of this and then a demo. Alright guys, so like I said, this is the Bedhead Rock and Roller Curling Wand. It's a bubble style wand and it has heat settings on it. I'll give you guys a little close up. So it has a low, medium, and high setting and you can go anywhere within this range. It's not just three options. It's anywhere on the range of those three. And then it has a little thing to sit it so it sits flat on the counter. And when it's on, the little light glows red. And so I don't want to keep this too, too, too extensive because a lot of what I'm going to talk about is actually how to use it, but I love that the little cord on this is swivel, so that's no issue whatsoever. I love, like I said, that it has a range of heat settings. It's not just like an on and off, um, and that the red light does tell you when it is on. I think what's really cool about this is that you can wrap your hair between the bubbles, like how I'm going to show you how to do it, but you can also wrap them around the bubbles. And when you wrap the hair around the bubbles, you get more of a wavy texture, whereas if you put it between the bubbles, you get more of a curly look like the one I have today. Another positive about this tool is that it heats up super, super fast. I want to say in less than a minute, it's fully hot and ready to go, and I use it pretty hot. Like almost, actually I do it like a little bit past medium, but still pretty hot. Um, it did come with a glove, I believe, so that you wouldn't burn yourself. But I personally think it's just easier to hold the hair with your hand and wrap it around and just kind of take that risk of getting burned. Um, I've been burned by it a couple times, but it wasn't a major deal. But I mean, if you're, I mean, you probably should. Use the glove. I'm not telling you to not use the glove. You should use it. I just don't. But anyways, this was around $30, which I think is such a great investment. This has lasted me for almost two years and I've had no problems with it. And that's such an affordable price. Some curling wands and curling irons are so, so, so expensive. And so for $30, I think they have this at Target, uh, Ulta, a bunch of different places. I think it's so, so, so worth it, and I highly recommend it. And I want to give you guys a little background. I have the kind of hair that's terrible about holding a curl. Like, I occasionally curl it with a flat iron or with a different curling wand I have, but for some reason, those curls from those two different tools do not last all day in my hair. After maybe like two hours or so, the curl starts falling out, and then it looks really just like bleh. Whereas this will stay in my hair all day. I've worn this to dances, different events, a whole list of things. And it always stays looking super good. And the curls that this tool creates are really different. You can see they're definitely more of like a wavy curl versus like a curl curl, if that makes sense. But I really, really love it. It's super long lasting. It'll stay in. I mean, like I said, my hair does not hold a curl very well. And this just is amazing. It works so on me. It stays in all day. And I think that if you had the hair type where your hair does hold a curl, unlike mine, then yours might potentially last a couple of days and still look really, really good. But yeah, so overall, I really, really love this tool for $30. I think it's a great investment. It creates these beautiful curls. I've used this on so many different people that have different hair types, and it has honestly looked good on everyone. 
So if you're searching for a new curling wand to really just hold that curl in your hair, I highly recommend this one. Like I said, I will leave my old review video down below in case in that I mentioned anything that I'm not mentioning in this one. But without further ado, let's get into the demo. So I'm starting off by separating the front chunk of my hair and brushing through it. I will actually brush through almost every single piece before I put it against the bubble wand. And now I'm wrapping it around the wand in between the bubbles. This is the style I like to do it. You can kind of see that first bubble, it wrapped around it. Like I said, if you want to do that around all the bubbles, you get more of a wavy texture. Uh, but that was just an accident that it accidentally went around that whole bubble. But I usually stick to going between the bubbles. And actually, this first piece of hair didn't turn out super great. A lot of times that happens for me on that first chunk of hair. And then later on, you will see that I went back and redid it. I just didn't think that it was wavy enough to me. It kind of looks flat. Um, if you were going for more of like a beachy waves, that would totally work. But I want a little bit more of a curly wave. But don't worry, after the first piece, it always gets better. So then I'm taking the second piece, and I like to do smaller chunks just so it really gets fully heated. And I'm trying to go between the bubbles. It was a little hard because I didn't have my full mirror in front of me, so I was kind of seeing, trying to see it off the viewfinder on the camera. So I probably would be a lot more precise in wrapping it around the bubbles if I could have actually really seen what I was doing. But you know what? Trying my hardest. And notice here how I actually hold the bubble wand on the blue end where you would normally hold it, but then I also hold on to the little tip that's on the top just to kind of make sure that it stays in place and none of the hair falls off. I hold the very end of my hair with that finger against that little black ball that's on the end just to make sure it doesn't unravel. And the black ball usually takes quite a bit of time before it really heats up. So it's one way to kind of ensure that you don't get your fingers burned. I have burned my fingers on this many a times and yeah, it's not necessarily super fun. So basically, I'm going to keep repeating this same process of wrapping the hair in between the little bubbles on the wand, holding it for a while, and then slowly unraveling it off the wand. You want to do that very slowly just to kind of keep the curl intact because it's still really hot and you want to make sure it cools down properly in the shape that you want it to be in, which obviously is the curl. So. I'm just going to keep doing this and I also want to tell you guys that I don't really have a set amount of time that I leave it on the curling wand. Uh, some people's hair is thicker than others and therefore it would require you to hold it on longer. My hair, my hair is a little bit more on the thin side, kind of actually like a medium thickness. So I don't have to hold it quite as long and same goes for if you have thinner hair you're probably not going to have to hold it as long as I'm holding it. Um, so actually on the screen here, here's a good idea of what it should look like when you wrap the hair between all of the bubbles. So I'm going to keep repeating this same process for the rest of this side of my hair. Um, and I also want to note that I'm curling away from my face. That's what I like to do on both sides. I will curl away from the face to really make sure that the curls kind of frame my face but don't like curl into my face, if that makes sense. So then I just went back and redid that first piece of hair that I kind of had issues with. This is something I pretty much do every single time I curl my hair with this wand. I don't know why, but the second time I curl it, it just turns out perfectly. And I actually zoomed in a little bit so you guys can see more of a close-up of the hair curled around the wand and then how I slowly unwrap it. As you can see here, sometimes the hair gets stuck on the end, but you just pull that off. It's super simple. And then it was time for the other side of my hair. So this time I'm starting towards the back and I'm actually curling towards my face, which you guys are like, what? You said curl away. Well, for quite a few pieces in the back, I just think that this wand curls better curling towards my face on this side of my head. Um, so I do that for a bunch of the curls. And then as I get really close to the front uh, towards my face, that's when I start curling away from my face and you'll see me do that in a minute. I'm just gonna fast forward some of this because I'm literally just repeating the same process.
So then like I said, as I get towards those last couple of pieces that are closest to my face, I brush them out and then I'm going to curl them away from my face. Same thing of putting them between the bubbles, but just doing it the opposite way so that you can really see my face. So then I just spray a little hairspray on the underneath as well as the outside of the hair and that's the completed look.